What's going on guys, it's Lewis and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your very own Minecraft server so that you can play online with your friends. Um, you're going to be using Hamachi, this is for a couple of reasons, one it's just probably one of the easiest ways to set up a network, but um, also if you don't know how to port forward then Hamachi re doesn't require you to port forward. Also, however, some routers don't actually allow you to port forward, in which case using something like Hamachi will be the only way to um, make your own Minecraft server. And finally, uh, you don't need to give your real IP address out to people for them to connect to you, so if you're a bit cautious of who you give your IP out to, but you do want to set up a server, using Hamachi will allow you to do that. Um, the link to this will be in the description. Um, you'll be given a page like this, make sure you check conditions of use and download the unmanaged version. If you're on the Mac, download the Mac OS X version. Um, no I don't. Um, if need be I'll do a tutorial on how to set it up on the Mac, but they're basically the same as far as I'm aware. So go ahead and click download now. I'm pretty sure so I've already got it downloaded. Um, uh, once you downloaded it, you'll get a file called hamachi.msi. Just go ahead and open that up, and you will be given go away. You will be given an install dialog like this. It's next, next, next for the most part. If, uh, that's the I think that's the only thing you need to change. If you want to create a shortcut to it on your desktop, make sure you check that. Other than that, it's next, next, next. Now, well, pretty much exactly halfway through this install, um, yeah, well, that was close. You may lose network connectivity. Um, that's from where Hamachi will be setting up its own network, so it will interfere with your networks. Don't worry, it's completely safe, and you will get your network back. Nothing to worry about. Once it's installed, you'll be uh, given the option to automatically launch it. Um, I'm not sure if that's like suggesting you to restart because you can't actually click it. But if you want, just uncheck Launch Hamachi, click Finish and then restart. Otherwise, just do Launch Hamachi. It doesn't really make any difference. Um, although if you've had a couple of problems with Hamachi, uh, you should probably just restart it. Now, you'll then be presented with this window and this is Hamachi, this is your virtual network. This is what people are going to be connecting to basically. So first of all, um, what I'd recommend doing is just going through the preferences, specifically the settings, and making sure that you know they're all according to what you want. For the most part though, you don't really need them. And uh, then press this button, and it'll ask you to register the client. Um, you'll then be required to put in your own client name. By default it will use whatever name you set up for your computer when you installed it, but you can change that. So for example, if you're giving away personal information, uh, for example, if I was if I didn't like giving people my real name, I'd change it to like GPPC. There you go, I don't care. Um, so you can change it to whatever you want. And if you're very leak quickscoper, you could do something like that. I don't know what pe people are into these days. But basically, that's what your client name's going to be. It doesn't really matter too much. That's People will not really tend to see that. And just click on Create, and it will resolve. That's basically it setting up your network. Now, the way I look at Hamachi is it's like having a router on the internet that is already port forwarded. And by that I mean if you need to if you used to restart your router in real life or whatever problems, you know, you just go downstairs, turn it off, turn it back on. Same with the match if you need to restart the network, just press power off and then power it back on again. And uh, it's it does basically the same thing. Apologies if you can hear my dog barking in the background. <sighs> so 
once you've set all that sort of stuff up you'll be given your very own network ID and you also have the option to create a new network or join an existing network obviously pressing on join an existing network will um, bring up this dialog and it will ask you what the network ID is and the password the network ID is not this you need to create a new network by clicking on that button and the network ID is whatever you want your network to be called so mm, yeah, I don't know Lewis has Minecraft I don't know that's probably taken actually um, the password is required despite the fact that um, when you go to join it says you can leave it blank it is actually required for you to put a password in but most people as far as I know just put one two three and then press on create and then that is basically your network set up um, if you want people to connect you tell them to connect to whatever your uh, network ID is give them the password and then they'll connect so for example hey do you want to come play Minecraft me Minecraft with me, just connect to Lewis has Minecraft, the password is 123 on Hamachi, they'll connect you on Hamachi and then they just connect to this when you set your server up but I'll go over setting an actual server up in the next part so hopefully I'll see you then and uh, yeah goodbye